What's up, Internet? Welcome to another episode of the Zinked Up Podcast, the show where we talk to you about news games and sandwich a little fun in between. Or right at the beginning, apparently. Do we have any reason to scrap this one, or do no. we have to keep going? We, we're going. Damn, we're going. Sore. I'm sorry. Your mother's going to hear that one. No. I'm your host, Timothy DeRoe, and joining me this week is your boy, Michael Clare. Yar, you know Jordan, what it Jordan, is. of course, on the sticks. Michael spit in our mouth, Claire. Don't no, no. Let's not make that. A thing. <laughs> let's not make that. A you know, thing. Today we're gonna be talking about a lot of things, a good old gaggle of things. Hogwarts Legacy doing some stuff. There's PSVR gaggle. two stuff. Death Stranding doing some stuff. Showcase with things and movies. You know, things of that nature. There's a lot of stuff going on, and we're gonna be talking about it. But before we do that, a little bit of housekeeping. Sorry. For you, wait. My ex is on Tinder. Which one? Can we talk about the side quest? Just give me the first letter. Oh. Oh. Wait. wait. Oh, really? Yeah, well, how how much length do you got your shit on? Like like a hundred miles? She must be nearby. Uh, go ahead. Yike. Huh? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yikes. Anyway, a little bit of housekeeping for you before you uh before we before the you know the stuff. Um, if you enjoy this show, and you know if you want Mike's mouth to get spit in, <laughs> go to patreoncom slash synced up Where for one dollar you can get access to our lovely Discord, where we might discuss whether or not. Mike's mouth will be spitting. Over five dollars, you can get access to the post shows of all the shows that we do. Where you know, who knows what goes on back there <laughs> for five dollars and all many more goodies. All from youtubecom slash up podcast and podcasting services around the globe. New episodes of this show specifically go up in all those feeds Tuesdays, seven a.m. Central, Central Time, time Zone. Okay. Gang. Also, you should consider following us on Twitter at Synced Up Pod to keep up to date with all of our content from across the big old board. A little bit of that content is over on the film cast. If you if you listen to this podcast and you're like, you know what, I want to listen to these dudes talk about movies, jump on over to the film cast where we have started our studio Ghibli ranking and we have ranked Nasca mm-hmm. in the Valley of the Wind this week. Mm-hmm. We will be ranking Grave of the Fireflies and Castle in the Sky next week. So if you have any interest in us ranking all of the Ghibli movies and watching them with us, jump over to the film cast and um, it's a good time. Have a good old time. The movies are good. They're good. Good old movies. Now let's get right into the show. Stop, dude! Michael spit my mouth. Clear. It's, it's, it's glued. It's glued. You sign. I'll, I'll bring it. Ba- I'll bring something back. You didn't read the fine wit. There's a bit that's died. Is there a dead bit concerning you? Concerning me? I'll bring it back. What is it? I'm curious. You want me to unleash it right here? I don't know. Has it been on the show? I don't think so. It'd be fresh for the show. Fresh for the show? Uh huh. Mike feels Mike's back is in the corner, Jordan. <laughs> I am. I'm scared. What was I'm, you I'm, I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Desperation. I'll whisper it to Jordan. And I'll, I'll see if. Oh, <laughs> I, that does not do true. Do I keep it in the vault? <laughs> that is not true. Do I that keep was it in such the vault? a cat bit that Wait, came out of nowhere. Do I get to choose? Yeah, you tell me. Do I, uh, do you I know, unleash it, it or keep it in the vault? This isn't good cut. Oh, no. You know, I, I, well, Death Stranding. Here. Death Stranding is coming to PC Game Pass. That's the only thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so Death Stranding. This is a big news from this week. Um, Death Stranding, Kojima Productions, Death Stranding coming to PC Game Pass. They spent about a PC. week um, kind of ramping it up. And then, uh, yeah, I, I was like not believing. You were in disbelief. I was in disbelief. And I was then, like, yeah. bro, they saying this is a Death Stranding. PlayStation and you're like, exclusive Death Stranding is on no. is on Xbox Game Pass. That's insane. It is quite insane. Well, it's not Xbox Game Pass. It's technically PC Game Pass, but yeah. Do you think it will come to Xbox Game Pass? No, fuck no. Okay. Absolutely not. I, it is interesting. I hope so. I'll play the shit out of it. Is my man playing a Game Boy right now? That, that uh, sound is iconic. That's a good sound. I, I'd play the show oh, if it came to Xbox Game Pass. But it's cool that's coming to PC Game too. Pass. It's kind of nuts. This is a big deal. It is. It's a very big deal. It must, it must have been a loophole. It opens contract. the doors. Yeah, some Kojima back back loophole shit. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, I left in a back door so I can get good to go to Xbox, Xbox when we make our, our next buddy, cloud buddy. game or whatever. So yeah, if, if you're in for some Death Stranding on PC, it's going to be on Game Pass. You don't even got to pay for it. So get excited for that. But also on the PlayStation excited. vein, PSVR 2 got announced a release a release date a re- Period. release window window area it's coming Slot. early 2023 uh, who knows what that means i know you can't wait i could i could wait i i know you're so excited i can wait for this day one baby no i, I don't care yeah me neither i know you really i do have a lot of psvr titles on my account from when me and austin had vr uh-huh. and he bought a lot of stuff are you okay jordan is dying my jordan? brother he just had a joke in the his peanut head. gallery he's dying over here are you playing Battle Network White, bro? Yeah. That's a good-ass game. Dude, the, the, when you go to the computer, when you go to the computer, says, this is a computer. Dad bought this. This is where you spend most time with Jack into the internet. Yeah. <laughs> that was a joke. That is a joke. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. No, I love Battle Network White, too. That's a good-ass game. It's in my top 50 of all time. 
Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really give a shit about this, but it's a big deal. Yeah, I think Chance put it best when, when he was talking about, like, will VR ever be good? Nah. Uh, it's enjoyable, though. It if is. If you have the funds or someone has a VR, it's a mm-hmm. good old time. It's a great console for your friend to have. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> for you to go over and be like, I'm going to play a little bit of this. Mm-hmm. And bigger news, though. Much, much bigger news. Huge. A Disney Cross Marvel game showcase is coming early September. September 9th, I think, is the yes, date sir. specifically. Hosted by Blessing Addy OEA Jr. That is super exciting. Yes, sir. That's, um, that's pretty dope. Of course, we love Kind of Funny and Blessing over there. I'm super excited to see him host a like an actual big event like this. Wait, what's the day? Um, I think it's September 9th to September 3rd. Okay. okay. I cannot remember. I'm Those are two happy. very different days, but it's right there in the beginning of September. That's there's a lot of cool stuff. Um, yeah, there's some really cool stuff that we can see. We can see Wolverine here. Um, we can see, you know, new Star Wars, new game. Star Wars stuff. Jedi uh, Survivor, Survivor, I think, I think. I think is what Something it's called. Like that. Um, that that could be shown there. There's a lot of stuff that we could see here that's really really cool. Getting a Disney Marvel game specific showcase just feels really exciting. And the fact that Blessing gets to host it is also just really cool because it we love cool. Blessing over there. That's dope. So if you, you know, are excited for any Disney slash Marvel games, which you probably are. Yeah. Midnight Suns, Black Panther, Black Panther. Fucking Wolverine. I'm Spider-Man really excited 2, for Wolverine. Spider-Man 2. Because I don't know what they're going to do. Yeah. Uh, if they do like an old man Logan plot. If oh. if they do what I'm dreaming, it's going to be good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if it's the perfect game, it's going to be the perfect game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's going to be the perfect game. If I like it, I'm going to like it, you know? Yeah, exactly, dude. It, yeah, Dude, I'm, I'm so excited. Just to, This new era of, of Marvel games is has been it's very great. nice. I mean... Mm-hmm. Had a couple of missteps there, but Marvel Avengers and you know, missed out. We don't talk about that. You know, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy, while good. No, that was great. It wasn't a ten out of ten. You didn't play it. But you, hey, no, you didn't play it. True, Shut true, up. true, true, true. Shut up. But I'm talking about stop Metacritic, talking. Metacritic, Metacritic. Stop. Right. Co- no, yeah, it wasn't. Stop extra. talking. It's a good game. We're getting not it, every game can be Spider Man. Sure, sure, whatever. And we're getting Spider Man's. We're getting Wolverine, whatever that may be. Black Panther's nice, and then of course Midnight Suns, a different genre of game Black in the Marvel hole. stuff. <laughs> Black Hole Sun. It's a good song. Won't you come? The intrusive Wash thoughts win too often. To ra- they yeah. win too often. Yeah, no, they do. Sometimes they just have to be vocalized, and that's not a good thing. It's not. But it just happens, you know? The prof- f- blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> The professionalism is out the window. Watch it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, so I'll get excited for any of those games. You, you, is there anything that you think is going to be there that we don't know about? There'll probably be something, right? Yeah, like some surprises. There's a... um. There's a mobile game that I wanted to try out. It's called Marvel Snap. It's not yeah. in America yet. I could, so yeah. I could see maybe that coming. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't people don't really know about that, but it's a, it's a Marvel card game. Yeah. Mobile card game. Like, I am I could not care less <laughs> about mobile games. <laughs> How's your Clash of Clans doing? Yo, I'm killing it, actually. I just upgraded Town Hall 11. So I've had a lot of upgrades. Got on my walls up to level 11. I need to get to level 12, but it costs way too much. I couldn't care less. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. They, they Honestly, they've added like some really dope shit for the Clash Clashiversary and stuff. Like uh-huh. that game. You can play an arcade kart racer in-game. It's fucking weird. Anyway. Um, All right. You know what's coming back from the dead? Speaking of coming, I wasn't, you know, whatever. Dead Island 2 is coming out. <laughs> that shit exists. Why? What? What's going on? Toy Story 2. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, it's the start of Toy Story 2. It's when... Um, Wait, is it? It's when they're like... You think it's like a space movie. Yeah. And Buzz is like in space, but they're all just having a fun time. You think so? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's fine. And it's when he's like got to jump and get all the batteries. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I think so. No. Anyway, anyway back, back on topic. Back on topic. Dead Island 2. It's been revved. It's coming back. <laughs> what the fuck? It was predestined. Do you think... Did, did we, the did the goats in the goats in the trailer? trailer? They had to, bro. Do you think there was like Somebody a weird know. cheeky thing? This is definitely gonna be shown opening night live, right? Yeah. When's or opening night live? Is it tomorrow? It's it's tomorrow. Yeah. Damn. Or Game Awards or something. It got released on Playstations of people who leaked it. Yeah. And it has a date of like it was like March of twenty three. Yeah. So soon. Soon. Also, apparently it's it's not on a, it's not set on an island this time, which is false advertising. It's called Dead Island. Also. Can Dead Island 2 succeed in a world that already has Dying Light? Yes. Do you think so? Yeah. Because I don't know. Nostalgia. It, yeah, I know, but they have... They it's have, strong. Have you gone back and played the Dead Island games? Because I went back and played them like nine months ago. Like, they need to be modernized. Like, they ha- yeah. there, there yeah. needs to be some... It cannot just be the same formula as Dead Island, Riptide, and Dead Island 1. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't hold up. Mm-hmm. Especially after playing Dying Light and just the movement and stuff uh-huh. being so good in that game. They, they have, if it's the same game, this does not succeed, in my opinion. You know what? This doesn't succeed anyway. Yeah, I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> this doesn't succeed. If it's on Game Pass, maybe. But. Yeah. 
That's the game. we were talking about that today in the yeah. Discord. When I say one dollar tier Patreon, about about game, it still means I'll play it on Game Pass. Yeah, but because Jordan was like, "Oh, you're gonna play Saints Row," and I was like, "No, I'm skipping that shit." And he's like, "I could never." But then Chance was like, "I'll play it if it's on Game Pass," and I was like, "Oh, that's what I'm." So will I. Yeah. <laughs> then, then, like, that's a given. Yeah. Because I don't know. It's kind of a. It's kind of. It's kind of a disease. You know. What do you mean? It's like it's like it's a disease. Please please compare the uh, the idea of having to play Saints Row for free on Game Pass to a not disease. A, it's not having to play Saints Row on Game Pass. It's the disease of not playing games because I expect to get them for free later. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where I'm like, I'm not gonna support this dev because like nine months from now they'll hand me this. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's kind of a problem. All right. It's kind Let of let me hit up the CDC like, real quick. Like Cult of Lamb. If I wasn't going half and half with Chance on Colton and Lamb, I wouldn't have bought it, bro. I would have been like, no, nah, I'll be playing that in seven months. For nah, free. That's 25 bucks. I'm in. I don't know. That applies to me for $60 games. That applies $60 to me for a lot. a lot. $25? Yeah. The, the half and that's half the thing really. that I got with Chance keeps it keeps it going. Uh-huh. Anyway, Dead Island 2, get excited or don't. Most people are not. So. We'll see. Anyway, Hogwarts Legacy finally got a date, February 23rd, 2023. Exciting. You think it'll get pushed again? Yep. Do you really? Yeah. I don't think. I don't know. I don't think so this time. We have not seen enough. The worst, they're showing more tomorrow. They announced today that they're showing more tomorrow. So, mm. at opening night live. Okay. So, I think it might hit this. I need to see Quidditch, bro. Yeah. I really need to see Quidditch. Give me Quidditch. Also, man, they should have made that shit multiplayer. Yeah, what are they doing? I want to... I wanna... I want to fucking learn spells with the boys. You know what I mean? Skedaddle, skadoodle. That's what, I, that's what I've been feeling like lately. Uh, as, uh, as, a, as a gamer. Just it's boys. A, it's been difficult to you not want, you want to just boys. play with the homies. Yeah, like I'm, yeah. I've been sitting there and I'm like, I could continue my Bloodborne Platinum, or we could play Fortnite. <laughs> and it's a it's a hard decision. It and it, it's anything. I got. I've I've been downloading games specifically to play with the boys. Oh, I just downloaded Apex Legends last yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! I am not excited to play Apex Legends. I'm but excited we'll, to be in Jordan's element. Exactly. I'm ready to be carried. Yeah, no, it's a it's a fun time. Like, this is a desire. Like when Jordan was like, "Hey, I'll download Garden Warfare after I played a little bit." Mm-hmm. Of it. I was like, "Fuck yeah, let's play. Oh, fuck let's, let's play a little bit of this." Because I only expected to play a little bit with Adriana. Yeah, we were looking for co-op games, and then oh, it turns out we can play that with the boys. And I just want to play boys. games with the boys. Yeah, like that's what I like want the most. So like Redfall is gonna slap. Redfall will slap. I'm I'm kind of hyped for that. Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights can be good too. Yeah, deep in the excited. boys. Speaking of playing with the boys, you can play. With the boys in Warner Brothers Multiverses, um, and they got some new characters coming out. Black Adam is coming to the game. Uh-huh. Gremlins is coming to the game. Specifically, Bro, Stripe. So many people did not know who that was. They were like, "Oh my god, a Multiverses original character." They th- that the Gremlin. <laughs> Bro, I was like, "What do you mean?" We're not that old. Yes, we are. I guess we are. That movie came out like '98. Stripe. Well, yeah, that's funny. That, and then that that was right before Wicked Witch of the West is coming. And what was the other one that I told you? Because I fucking forgot what it was. Um, it was Wicked Witch of the West and something. Probably some other DC character. Yeah. But yeah, Wicked Witch of the West is coming, Black Adam, and the Gremlins, which is cool. Wild roster. Yeah. I think Chance is right. Don't say it. That roster will be more Mm -mm. impressive. Nah, fam. More wide. More wide? It's LeBron James. (laughs) Squaring up on yeah. When I heard when I heard when I heard blessing, he's like, yeah, I was playing as LeBron James, um, you know, and you can go for a no look pass, and I was Mm -hmm. like, what the fuck? This is game. This game is wild, and it's playable. It's cool to be LeBron. If you're LeBron James, it's cool. You're like, oh, I can play as myself. Or your kids are like, yeah. Is it cool? I think it's cool to play as yourself. Absolutely. If 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 I had a Fortnite skin, I would only play as myself. You think? Are you shitting me? Like, if I was Bruno Mars, I would just be playing as Bruno Mars. As but, Bruno. okay, yeah, right? But you got to remember, LeBron James has been in 2K for the past, like, 20 years. Yeah, but that's just it's just imitation of real life, you know what I mean? What but do you mean multiverse? You'd be like, oh, I can play as myself in multiverse. And you can be like, oh, I can play as myself in Fortnite. That's cool. That's cool. How long until Fortnite po- does a pop-up shop where you can scan yourself into Fortnite and get yourself as a skin? Nah. You don't think so? You don't no. think they'll do some weird thing like that? Never. Five years from now? No. Like, hey, come to the Fortnite pop up shop in Seattle, pay five hundred bucks, we'll scan you and make you a Fortnite skin. No, because you can you. you can do that in two K and people don't use it because that's, because you use the camera on your phone for that shit. I'm it's talking ugly. they do like a pop up shop, they charge you, and they like they have like a full thing there to like. Scan I don't know. You in. I don't think so. And there's like you know if you're just there if you're at Fort Con, you know. <laughs> I think here's here's my deal. Fortnite convention. I think I'm it's against like this idea because I'm against this idea. I wouldn't use it. You wouldn't go make yourself in Fortnite? Motherfucker, I got Goku. 
Dude, I would immediately go make myself into Fortnite. Are you kidding me? I want to be me. Nah. Yes. I'm Bulma. Nah, I'm Bulma too, but I would like to be myself as well. I didn't That'd realize cool. you can put on the the prof- the, 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 suit? Chaz- the, yeah. the jacket. Yeah. yeah, the professor jacket. Yeah, I found that out the other night. Anyway, also, Gravity Rush is getting a movie from PlayStation. Weird. I don't know why the fuck they picked Gravity Rush. Look, look, man, I love Gravity Rush. Game's great, okay? I think more people should play that shit. It's super fun. It's a cool world, cool mechanic. You change mm-hmm. the gravity world. It's, it's, it's awesome, and the exploration is really cool. Um... But this is like the least recognizable franchise that they could have picked. Oh yeah, no, this is gonna be like a new IP for a lot of people. Yeah, <laughs> like, they did a never um, new IP. Someone posted when they were responding to this. They posted a picture of them doing like a a, a character quiz at like a Sony event, mm-hmm. and they were like, "Oh, can you guess that character?" And they were doing it on stage, and there was like ten people on stage trying to guess it, and they brought up the Gravity Rush character. Nobody fucking knew who it was. I don't know the characters. Yeah. It's Cat. Cat. Yeah, it's Cat. I know the game Gravity Rush. It's cool. Nothing else. It's a good game. It's worth it if you can find it in a bargain bin. But that game sold 300,000 copies. Why the fuck is it getting a movie? Who knows? Who knows? That's it for the news this week. You know, not exciting. A little exciting. There's some stuff. There's some exciting. A little bit of stuff. A little bit of stuff. Nothing nothing crazy. But now it's time for the, you know, this one's 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 these games came out years ago. <laughs> yeah. Jordan Hiccup. It. Hiccup. Not choking on scales today. Grab a little, put a little. Anyway, this week in game in August 22nd, starting her off with The Legend of Zelda in 1987. That's a good one. Lost That's a good one. And then Lost Legacy, Uncharted Lost Legacy in 2017, and Black Desert Online in 2019. August 23rd, Deus Ex Human Revolution in 2011. Wonderful 101 in 2013. It's a good game. Deus Ex Mankind, Mankind, Mankind. Mankind Divided 2016. Nerdy ass games, right? Nerdy ass games. August 24th, Beautiful Joe. Fucking classic. 2004. Mafia 2 in 2010. August 25th, Batman Arkham Asylum in 2009. Good. Mm. Scott Pilgrim 2010. Good. Mm. Until Dawn 2015. Good. Mm. Psychonauts 2 2021. Good. Oh! What a good <laughs> What a good ass day, bro. That's a good day right there. That's a banger. Eh, August bro. 25th, bro. What a day. What a day. Come back around. Of course. August 26th, Metro Redux and the Metro 20, 2033 Redux, both in 2014, and Infamous First Light in 2014. Both pretty good. Yeah, pretty August good. 27th, Castle Crashers in 2008, and Control in 2019. And then August 28th, there wasn't really anything of note that day. Now it's time to talk about the games we've been playing. You've been playing anything except Goku and Fortnite? Cult of the Lamb. Cult of the Lamb? Me too. What do you guys uh, say? I booted it up some more today. Dude, the one bug, bro. I can deal with every other bug. But the, the, six, bug, man, the six, the man six man Yeah, no, it's terrible. It's, it's, so, it hurts. it's so bad. It gets in the way. Like, extremely. It actively, you can't complete quests. Yep. It's so annoying. Most of the time, they give you a quest that you can do something else, but anyone that gives you a quest where you need to do a ritual, it's like, it's you so can't do it. And it's not a bug that's fixable. It's yeah. not fixable at all. There's no fix. You'd have to, what, start a new game completely? Yeah. And hope that you don't get it. If, if you don't know, it's a bug where, you know, in Cult of Lamb, you have a cult of people, and you can bring them into your little temple to do sermons and stuff like that there's this bug that happens to almost everyone um where only six of your cult members will go into the temple yeah and you'll have certain cult members that you need to do rituals to it'll be like, like marry this person marry, or sacrifice, sacrifice this person and you can't because you can't get them and so you're running in and out of the temple to try to get new people to cycle through and mm. it just isn't good so annoying sometimes you get the same people you know sometimes you get old people I had a thing where like I get bo- boosts for sacrificing old people mm-hmm. and, and that's like boosts my cult and they, they like that a lot or whatever and so I would always try to do that and it would but be the old people just don't come in sometimes yeah sometimes and then you're just like fuck and I, the person you need to sacrifice or the person you want to do whatever to ascend their soul or whatever that you can't because they're just not in there, and it's it's super annoying, and it gets it is very annoying. Bad. I can do with everything else. I've had I've had bugs where now where it's like the screen freezes on you doing some action, mm-hmm. and it's like all the NPCs are doing a little dance thing, and you're doing a little dance thing inside the and temple. You have to exit, yeah, yeah, exit, come back. I can deal with that all day. Yep, 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 yep. Pathways, the, you have been oh, with pathways. Pathways where you lay down decorative pathways in your, and they what? And they like disappear or they'll change. Yeah, I have had that where I made like a square. Uh-huh. And then like they expanded a little. Yeah, on some weird. I, I made like a, a a brick square, and then I got a fancier brick, and I covered it. But it keeps reverting back to the old brick. That's ass. Yeah, terrible. Yeah. Besides that, everything seems okay. Yeah. I I love the game. It's a good game. It's a good as game. It's very fun. It's just, just it's very buggy, bug. man. It's very buggy. This, it could be great. Mm-hmm. Maybe. We just wait a little bit. Just wait <sighs> a little bit. Play it once there's been a couple patches, and this game is excellent. Day. Yeah. If yeah, what they need to do. Is because I like because I'll probably still finish it in its current state mm-hmm. or get as close to it as I can, and then 
they need to drop some big DLC. Yeah. And then I'll come back with the fixes. And yeah. I'll have a much better experience. I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll come back, but I did enjoy the experience. I finished the game actually. Yeah. I went all the way through. I really enjoyed the juxtaposition of doing Animal Crossing type stuff and then doing Rolex type mm-hmm. stuff. It really breaks up the monotony. There towards the end of the game though, I felt like there's a specific design like design school, I guess. School of thought, I don't know. Where you really focus on curves of things. Mm-hmm. And the curve of how OP I became was it wasn't it wasn't I feel like the game needs something to entice me to go go do the um, dungeons more. Instead of just playing in the village Because all day. what happened to me was I had finished the Dark Route. Mm-hmm. And I had done a couple of the Anchor Deep, which is the second area. Yeah. Um, and then for the most of the time, I was just kind of in the area. And yeah, I got... Little, really I true. maxed out my sermon things. Mm-hmm. To, you know where you get those upgrades that make you spawn with higher level weapons and stuff like that yeah. where you do sermons and that little meter goes up where you sacrifice somebody I had maxed that out and I had gotten like tons of devotion upgrades that by the time I was going through anchor deep I was like just steamrolling everything yeah like like to an extreme degree like w- one hitting everything going into bosses there, and hitting them in like I think the simple way to fix it is to have some gate some wall yeah like you can't advance your sermon more until you get through anchor deep yeah because they do get you of going in by making you have so many cult members, right? They're like, yeah. oh, you gotta have seven. You gotta have. I wish those numbers were higher. Mm-hmm. Um, but then also, yeah, I wish there was something of like, you can't get Mighty Hero Five because you haven't done Anchor Deep. You need to go yeah. complete this. You need to go complete that. Because yeah, I got to a point where I'd spent a few hours just fucking around in, in town or whatever, boosting my stuff. I had tons of dudes generating devotion, and I gave them these necklaces to make them do it faster. And I was constantly soaking it up, and I had yeah. all these upgrades. And so I was like. Every 10 minutes, bu- busting a new devotion upgrade. And then, yeah, I would go into like my little sermon hall and I'd sacrifice someone it is, or do something. And, and it's that thing where it's like, it's just so fun to be in the village yeah. and play the Animal Crossing part of it. It's just so fun. And yeah. so, like, I I don't want to go back in. I just make myself go back into Anchor Deep just to progress the story. Yeah. You could do something, some sort of force. Yeah, like, you could. I think a wall makes the most sense. Yeah. That way, you could still do stuff in the town if you want. Because I was thinking maybe they force you. Like, the guy shows up and he's like, you're not doing enough. You're just sitting here in yeah. the cold. Go do the thing. That kind of feels bad. I feel like maybe being forced to do it would suck. But yeah, definitely some sort of wall that prevented you from just becoming OP by staying in the village. And yeah. Then, cause, but yeah, by the time I finished the game, those last like two dungeons, bro, I was just like doing it. Because you know you have to do them four times before you can fight the boss. I was mm-hmm. like, just fuck, dude. Like just rolling to try to get to the end. Yeah, literally every time I would go into the dungeon, I'm speed running as fast as possible mm-hmm. so I can get back to the village and not miss anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It is just... I, so yeah, uh, maybe if you pause time when you went into the dungeons, just something. But yeah, uh, yeah a lot of the times, I like the just juxtaposition of it. But yeah, like you said, a lot of the time I just found myself being like, I can't let this entire day go by without mm-hmm. going back because my faith might drop, my people might start dissenting. I need so I need to. Whoo, 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 yeah, go I think the fast. pausing it would be nice. Like as soon as the morning starts, I'm mm-hmm. like sermon, cook a couple foods, and I'm like art right, peace, and then I go, and then I'm like coming back before the nighttime, and I'm like shit, I gotta do this and this and yep. this, and I'm trying to do it as fast as possible, and so it kind of made it weird. No, I agree. Good game, though. I do still recommend it. I do it. like it a lot. Yeah, it's very, very good. Um, I started my Bloodborne Platinum. Uh, I stopped my Bloodborne Platinum because Why? I could feel the the, the exhaustion, the tentacles of, of Dark Souls burnout mm-hmm. in the distance, and I was like, I can't allow that to happen. I got to stop. So I That's just fair. I just stopped it early. I was like, I'm having a good time, but I can feel that thing there where I'm like, <sighs> and so like the, like the second time I sighed, I was like, you know what? I'll come back to this. I just did Sekiro. Mm. Maybe I just need a little bit more of a gap. I'm just gonna play some other shit, and so I paused. So I think I, I think that's a good move because I didn't want to. That's get what to I do it. with. Uh... Maybe going and doing Dark Souls Two would have worked because I do have like a craving for like that high fantasy versus yeah. like the gothicness of Bloodborne. So maybe that would work, but I think I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna like let that settle a little bit. Yeah, give it a little time because I've that that'll be that that'll be the third. I've done three Dark Souls games this year already. Yeah. I, I got all of them in Elden Ring, all of them in Dark Souls 1, and all of them in Sekiro just this year. Yeah. So going for Bloodborne, I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just slow it down. So slow I stopped down. the Bloodborne. And then we started playing a little bit of Plants vs. Zombies. Battle, I can't say it, bro. Battle for Neighborville. It does not roll off the tongue. No, it doesn't. Battle for Neighborville. <laughs> Battle for Neighborville. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, I can't say that shit. Um, it's enjoyable. And Jordan wanted to play it and I'm excited to actually get in with someone and play that again because I played a lot when I was like 13. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a good fucking game, man. It's very fun and I thought the servers were off for Bat- uh, for Garden Warfare 2 but apparently they're not. 
So we just downloaded that bad boy. We're going to jump into that. And that's going to be fun. Bad boy. But that's all I've done. Yeah, that's about it for me too. Okay. There you have it, folks. There's the show. Thank you for watching or listening to this here Synced Up podcast. Once again, if you have any interest in watching us rank and watch along with us on the Ghibli movies, hide on over to the Filmcast that is here on the same YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Synced Up Podcast. Or if you're in our podcasting services, just go ahead and search Synced Up Filmcast in any of those search bars and you will find it. It's the red logo with the couch. Um, and you you might have a good old time over there watching Ghibli movies with us. We've ranked Harry Potter movies. We've ranked um, Nolan movies. We've ranked Disney movies. Disney? Um, is That's that it? it. Is that it? Those three franchises, we've ranked all of them. You can go find those episodes over there where we talk about the entire list and stuff. Um, those are enjoyable times. And, and, and here we are going into Ghibli. So jump over there and do that. Also, you can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash synced up where for $5 you can get access to the post show that we're about to do where we continue our journey on a thing that you would get access to if you paid us $5. So go ahead and jump over there and do that if you want to see it. So for those of you who do that, we'll see you in a few minutes. Everybody else, we will see you guys next week. Goodbye. Bye.